Hey crew, it's Mike with Riding in the Ozarks, and today we're talking about the Harley Davidson's teaser video for their global reveal of the 2022 models. That's a virtual event coming up in January. So I'm going to play the teaser for you, and then we're going to get into it, and we're going to dissect the different uh, sequences in this video and see what we can tell about this. I wasn't sure I was even going to make a video on this because a couple of people already have. But several people have uh, sent me messages and stuff, asked me what I think of it, asking me what I think about the words further and faster and what other people are saying about it, including some publications online. And I think they got that wrong. If you want to know what my opinion is and what I think the further and faster is all about, then stick around. Here's the promo. All right, we're going to start dissecting this thing backwards because I think that's the easiest way to kind of figure out and explain what this is. I think they revealed more near the end than in the beginning. All right, let's look at this last frame. This is a tank. That's obvious. It looks to me like it is the same script and decal as what you find on the Lowrider S. Here, let's look at the last two years of the Lowrider S's paint jobs for 20 and 21. And it looks to me like the lettering is identical. But there's something missing. It's not what's in the image, it's what's not. And maybe it's just the way they shot this with lighting. They're being very, very careful to not reveal too much. But I don't see any signs of a tank dash console. Now, the Lowrider S has a very distinct tank dash. Two gauges. It also has dual brakes. Those things go back to the early days of the Dyna Lowrider. So if it doesn't have a tank dash console, is it really a Lowrider? I mean, that is one of the most defining aspects of the lowrider one of the most recognizable oh that dash and tank console that's a lowrider so without that would it, would you still call it a lowrider i wouldn't i think a lot of lowrider fans wouldn't so maybe this is a totally new model that's just based off that tank and a lot of the features of that bike you know so rather than calling it a touring version of the Lowrider S, maybe they're going to call it something completely new. Before we go any further, I want to know from you Lowrider fans, would you still consider this bike a Lowrider if it does not have that iconic dash and tank console that comes on the Lowrider for the last 20 years? Leave me a comment down below. If you're a Lowrider fan, let me know, you know, how do you feel about that? All right, the next section of the video I put on repeat and uh, we're going to play that while we look at it. I think it becomes pretty apparent when you watch the pattern that this is a wheel. As the wheel's rotating, you can see the little holes that are drilled in the disc rotor in the background. That helps establish what we're looking at. So this appears to be some kind of mag wheel, powder coated. Somebody said it looks like the same wheel that's on the Lowrider S. I can't tell from this image, but I haven't got a Lowrider S that I can go out and really kind of compare to. Maybe if you do, you take a look at this wheel and you tell me if you think it's the same or it's different. I'm gonna play this back a little slower to try and help you establish it, take a few shots here and hold them still. And uh, you guys let me know what you think. But we definitely have a powder coated mag wheel. Now this next sequence appears to be a speaker grill. The speaker grill in this definitely doesn't look like something off of a street glide or an ultra limited. This is more of the shape of like a road glide style speaker grill. It's not perfectly round. It's got a little bit of a concave shape to it. Um, but I don't think it's a road glide speaker either. So. A lot of people are assuming this means there's going to be some kind of speaker in the touring fairing that's going to be on this bike, whatever it's going to be. We're going to get to that in just a second. Uh, let's back up a little further. I really can't tell you much more about this other than it does look like it's a speaker grill. This sequence has definitely got a push rod and a jug and cylinder head in it. Near the top of the screen, you can see where the spacing of the fins is a little bit wider. That's where the head meets the jug on the engine. And to the right, you'll see the collar for the push rod. So this definitely tells us this, we're looking at a rear jug here on a blacked out Milwaukee air-cooled engine. I assume Milwaukee unless they're gonna come out with some whole new engine and I don't think that's likely. So we're gonna assume it's a Milwaukee 8. Again, I think what we can learn is more about what's not in this image than what is. So if we look at a stock 114 with the ventilator air cleaner, you'll see that that kind of cuts into the view of the push rod right there where that collar is and we don't see that here. So we see no sign of a air cleaner, right? Okay, well wait, let's back up a few frames. 
Right here in the top right corner, you can see light reflecting off the edge of the chrome fins, and there's something blocking that. I think that's an air cleaner. Look at the air cleaner on the CVO 117s with this uh, forward facing nose cone. I think this is a air cleaner similar to that, like you'd see on a 117. Now, does that mean this is a 117? No, it could be a, a 122 or it could be something else. I mean, quite honestly, if I was going to do an engine upgrade from a 114, I wouldn't go to just a 117. I would jump up to a 122. All right, now we're going to go back to the first couple of sequences. And I'll be honest, I can't really tell what they are other than it looks like light reflecting off of a glossy black surface. Very mysterious, very hard to see. A lot of people think that is light reflecting off what would be the Turing fairing. I don't know for sure. That's a reasonable assumption. It could be light reflecting off of... A, Gloss saddlebags, if they go with detachable saddlebags like what were on the Sport Glide. And I'm kind of referencing here, going back to the bike that's been talked about a lot, including being talked about by myself, the bike that Matt Laidlaw built that was a Lowrider S with a touring uh, Memphis Shade style windshield on it and crash bars and removable bags that were off of the Sport Glide. So I don't know if that's what we've got here, but that's the only thing I can kind of tell. And I agree with everybody else that. That's probably the most likely thing that is. We don't know what that shape really looks like. Uh, there's this leaked photo that was going around. I've showed it in a previous video. I really don't think that's a mocked up bike by Harley Davidson. I think that's some individual's bike that they've done. And then it's gotten leaked out there that Harley Davidson's building something like that. So the only other thing to talk about out of the announcement is the words further and faster. And for that, we're going to jump over on my computer screen. I'm going to show you guys something. We're going to Google Harley Davidson further and faster and look at the results. And then you'll know where I'm coming from. So the first couple of hits are recent videos that have been announced and posted on Facebook and things like that. Let's go back a little further. January 20th, 2021. Hmm. What was happening in January of 2021? Oh yeah, the global launch last year. Let's look down a little further here. Let's scroll down to past these uh, last few days because people have jumped on the bandwagon talking about further and faster. Harley Davidson on Instagram, go ride further, faster. January 19th, 2021. Harley Davidson on Twitter, go ride further, faster. January 19th, 2021. So, go ride further, faster was their slogan last year in January when they were announcing stuff. Further and faster. They just left to go ride out. That's it. Does that mean these bikes are going to go further and faster? Well, I mean, Harley Davidson would always like you to believe that their bikes go further and faster. Uh, that's their job, to sell motorcycles. I think, personally, the only thing you can determine from further and faster is they couldn't come up with an original slogan this year, so they reused what they had last year. That's it. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's a hint to a touring model that can go further and it's going to be faster than previous models. Uh, I just... I don't think it is. I'm not saying they're not going to come out with a new model that goes further and is faster, but I don't think that's what the words in the ad mean. I think they simply reused the slogan from last year and it's been, you know, overblown. I think people are making too much out of those two words, but we'll see. Maybe Harley Davidson will explain the definition of further and faster during their 45 minute launch that they're going to do in January, but I kind of doubt it. Anyway, guys, fairly short video today, but a lot of people have been asking me what I think and wanted to know what I think about the teaser and stuff. So, you know, kind of to recap, I think it's going to be a new model. I wouldn't call it the Lowrider if it doesn't have a tank dash console like a Lowrider. And if it's going to have a touring fairing, it makes sense to put the gauges up in the touring fairing instead of on the tank dash. So I think it's going to be a new model. I don't know what it'll be called. I think it's going to be a 117 or 122. I'm leading toward a 122 or something of that nature, something bigger than the 114. I think it's going to have that blacked out look. I think it's going to have some kind of speaker. I think it's going to have some kind of fairing and bags, whatever it is. That's my best guess. And I'm not super confident in any of that. And you guys know, opinions are just like, well, you know how the saying goes. Everybody's got one. Now it's Christmas Eve. I'm going to go hang out with the family Get this video probably out just after Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Happy New Year's. Thank you guys so much for the support. The channel has done really well the last month. You guys are amazing. You have made my Christmas exceptional. So thank you again for all your support. 
I want to give a quick shout out to the members who help support my channel. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, check out the content on my channel. And if you dig it, hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to ring the bell to be notified. Thank you guys so much for your support. Stay safe and keep on riding.